General Flagg. You found yourself in the middle of an international incident. Oh, princess. The United States is in the business of saving the damn world by any means necessary. What in the holy hell? Congress said we can't use human prisoners. <laughs> These assholes aren't human. Do you understand me now? Who is she? We call her the bride. I was born here. <laughs> Who's Jason and the Argonauts? It's Dr. Phosphorus. Why are you doing this? It's business. What is that then? The weasel. We know it has what it takes to survive. That's Nina Mazursky. Daddy? <gasps> Last one is G.I. Robot. Cheers to the Tinder! I know you all aren't exactly enthusiastic about this mission. I didn't realize I had a choice. Baby, you said you wanted me to be a hero. Not like that. With a joy that's hard to hide. Until we find out the truth of what's going on here. We're supposed to be on the same damn team. G.I. Friend Nina. And you bound to see my Shish kebab. Don't be so hyperbolically violent. You need therapy. You wanted monsters. You got monsters. Die, Nazi. He's not a Nazi, GI. Oh, okay. I mean, it's really, for me, it's all first and foremost about story. We don't want anybody coming to Creature Commandos and going, oh, you have to watch the Suicide Squad to understand what happened in Creature Commandos. Oh, you have to watch the Peace Ringer. We want people to be able to come in this totally blind, and they're totally excited by it. So there's nothing that isn't explained in the show itself. However, there are references to some other things that happened in the past, and those things then become canon in the DCU because we mentioned them in this show. Um, so we have references to uh, peacemaker situations. We have, res you know, you know, uh, we learned a little bit that you know, your son died. We learned that um, you know, other things that have happened in the past and other media have still happened. 